guys, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Srinidhi. I'm an educator on an academy. I teach English grammar on this platform. You guys can follow me on an academy by downloading the an academy learning app and please do check out the YouTube channel as well. So this is the fourth lesson under the course daily Hindu analysis. Just like the previous lessons, we will be learning a few difficult words from the Hindu newspaper along with its meaning and usage. I'm sorry about that. Let's get started. So guys, yes, so we're on the fourth lesson, but we're going to do the words from Hindu newspaper. So as I've been telling you all, this are the, these are the words from either yesterday's newspaper or day before yesterday's newspaper. So you can go through the newspaper, uh, find the words, and you can read through the sentence. If you don't understand, please do ask me in the comment section. So let's get started with the set of words for today. The first one is forever. So this is a noun that means we cannot use it with uh, tenses like fraboard, no. Uh, Fraboard meaning is a very strong feeling for something. So um, a synonym could be passion. That means you feel for it so much that that ends up being, um, you know, there is a thin line between, uh, just like they say, there's a thin line between love and hate. You like, you are so passionate about it that it turns out to be bad sometimes okay for example they were concerned with their religious fervor that means they were so passionate about their religion so sometimes that itself is bad so they were concerned with their religious fervor that means they were very passionate about their religion maiden is a noun uh, that means unmarried girl or a young woman for example after her divorce, she reverted to her maiden name. That means she went back to having the same name, uh, you know, before she got married. Maiden name. So, for example, uh, people changed the initials after marriage. So, after getting divorced, she went back to her previous initial. That means her maiden name. Okay, next one. So, there are two meanings for maiden. One is an unmarried girl or a young woman. The second one is involving in an act of its kind for the first time. So doing something for the first time is maiden. For example, Titanic's maiden voyage, sorry, voyage didn't end well. That means its first voyage did not end well. So instead of telling first voyage, we will say Titanic's maiden voyage. Okay, next one, placate. So placate is a verb now. Uh, that means to make someone less hostile or angry. Hostile is being very unfriendly. Uh, so when you make somebody less hostile or angry, we call that as placate. For example, they attempted to placate the crowd with false promises. That means they attempted to make the crowd less angrier or they tried to control the crowd or they tried to make the crowd less hostile by making false promises which the crowd bought. So... Uh, uh, placating is the adjective and placation is the noun. So ION, again, a giveaway for noun. I would suggest you guys to make your own sentences using these words in order to remember it better. So if you have any doubts at all, if you've made your own sentences, please do share it with us in the comment section. All right. So placate is to make someone less hostile or less angry. Next one. Outmaneuver. So outmaneuver is a verb. So that means to evade an opponent by moving faster with great agility. That means you are avoiding, evade an opponent. That means to avoid or um, uh, sometimes miss, okay? Evade an opponent by moving faster with great agility. The second meaning is to gain advantage over someone by behaving in a clever and skillful way. That means you are gaining advantage on somebody. That means you are performing better than them using your skills and your uh, your intellectual power. So that means you outmaneuvered that person. That means you gained advantage. That means you uh, surpassed their ability. Okay. For example, Britain's hockey players were outmaneuvered by Germany. That means Germany's hockey player, hockey players, uh gained advantage over the Britain's hockey players by their skill and their intellectual power. So they outmaneuvered the Britishers. So that's exactly what outmaneuver is. So synonym of outmaneuver is outwit. 
so wit we know is a very uh, intellectual person so he's witty that means he whatever he says is funny as well as it makes you think so outwit somebody okay next one sweltering or scorching that's uh, sorry a synonym uh, sweltering is an adjective that means uncomfortably hot scorching sun we say you remember the the sentence scorching sun again so sweltering heat is nothing but scorching heat or scorching sun so for example people went on a rally in the sweltering heat in hopes of getting justice that means sweltering heat is extremely hot okay beyond bearable now next one is plod plod is a verb that means to walk slowly and heavily for example since i grew try tired from running i plodded slowly towards the end of the race that means i walked slowly limping and huffing and puffing towards the end of the race that means i was extremely tired that i did not run rather i walked slowly and heavily when you walk heavily that means you are thumping okay next one so this is an expression plods on or plods along that means to take a long time so this one we use with work work related uh, expression this is plods on or plods along that means for example the scene unfolds at a plodding pace he uh, never entrust a work with paul because he plods along that means he takes a lot of time to complete his work so don't entrust it and the scene unfolds at a plodding pace that means the scene uh, unfolds that means the scene is introduced at a very very slow pace so that's a plodding pace next one nuance is a noun nuance means a subtle difference in meaning for example he was familiar with the nuances of the local dialect that means he knew the small differences or the very subtle differences in the local dialect dialect is um uh, is is uh, is a language which does not have a written script okay so usually uh, any language that does not have a written script is called a dialect that means people only talk they don't record it for example uh, tulu is a dialect where we don't have any written script whereas english is a language which has written script so that's the difference between a dialect and a language so dialects don't have any written script at all people just talk it's just orally done never in written okay so synonym for nuance is subtle difference or fine distinction that means to know a very minute detail of something for example i know the nuances behind this intricate design that means i know even the smallest um difference or the smallest uh distinction in the work behind this so uh let's see today's verb so fervor which means passion maiden that means an unmarried woman or uh the first of its kind for example maiden voyage next one placate is to make somebody less angry or less hostile next one is outmaneuver that is to gain advantage on somebody by outpassing their skills with your own skills and intellectual power okay next one is sweltering that means extremely hot plod is to walk slowly plods on or plod along is to take a lot of time and then nuance is small and very subtle differences okay so that's it for today thank you so much for your time i'll see you guys in the next lesson but before that uh, like i've been telling you all if you have any doubts at all please post on the comment section and i uh, if you guys come across these words used in a sentence which you don't understand as well feel free to post them as well so um i'll see you guys in the next lesson bye bye